Let's go back to the basics of manifestation. Conscious manifesting is all about your thoughts, the dominant ones, nothing else. Let go of the law of attraction's teachings that make you believe that you need to feel a certain emotion, raise your vibration, or let go of your desire. These are complicating the whole thing. Manifesting is actually so simple, but in our human experience, we struggle with believing it can actually be that easy. So we add rules. We add reasons as to why things aren't manifesting at the moment. We overthink the process. We analyze our current reality. We add logic to the mix. But truly, manifestation is simply about your thoughts. So all that matters is your mental diet. Nothing else. Techniques are there to help you maintain a mental diet in line with your desire and make the process ultimately natural. But they're not what manifest. I will break it down further for you. And I will use some of Joseph Murphy's teachings as he goes more in depth on the differences between the conscious mind and the subconscious mind. Ultimately, however, Neville Goddard teaches the same thing. The basis is identical. Conscious versus subconscious mind. Murphy explains that the conscious mind is the gatekeeper to the subconscious mind. He mentions that the subconscious mind doesn't think for itself, nor does it experience your current reality. It trusts what the conscious mind gives it. Therefore, you need to appeal to your conscious mind throughout the process, and whatever the conscious mind deems to be true will be sent to the subconscious mind for creation. Tricking your conscious mind. This is where your mental diet comes in. Your conscious mind processes what it deems to be true. It distinguishes what is natural and what feels like work. When Neville mentions feeling as the secret, he refers to the feeling of naturalness, not to an actual emotion. Your conscious mind does not process feelings. Therefore, the key to getting your conscious mind to send your desire to your subconscious mind for processing is to make the process natural. This is why you will experience some delays at first for manifestations to which you have a lot of resistance or negative thoughts. Because at first, flipping every thought and affirming constantly to maintain a strict mental diet will not be natural. But it's part of the process for it to eventually become natural. The more you fight back your negative thoughts, the more they start coming up less and less. You will eventually reach a point where your natural thoughts are that of your desired reality. You will not feel any resistance against those thoughts. They will come up to you naturally. This can take days to happen or weeks or months depending on the amount of negative thoughts and of how strict you are with not spiraling and actually flipping all of them. The more diligent you are with your mental diet, the faster you will get that natural feeling. And you will start seeing your 3D conform. Let's debunk limiting beliefs and or techniques. Sats, the stake akin to sleep is known to be more effective to reach your subconscious. And that is true, when you're drowsy. Your conscious mind no longer acts as the gatekeeper to your subconscious mind. Everything gets automatically sent to your subconscious mind. However, sats is not needed to manifest. It is simply a technique that can help you reach your desired natural state faster if your mental diet is in line with your desire. Understand that pesky thoughts can still be in the back of your mind, and these are the ones you really need to tackle. Visualization. You do not need to visualize in order to manifest. It is, again, a technique. Some people find visualizing helpful as it allows them to focus on their desired thoughts only and therefore maintain a strict mental diet. Feelings, they do not matter. You can feel anxious, sad, angry, worried, etc. and you will still get your manifestation as long as you stick to your mental diet and flip all of the negative thoughts. Be mindful, however, that your feelings can give you insight on what is going on inside of your head. If you're sad about your situation, this means that you still have a lot of negative thoughts playing out in the back of your mind. See emotions as a gauge with regards to where you're at in the process of naturally thinking of your desire. Scripting, a technique like any other that helps sustain your mental diet. Affirming 24-7, not needed at all. I think it's helpful at the beginning to counter your negative thoughts if you have a lot of them. However, remember that eventually one must reach the natural state where your mind naturally thinks of your desire. At which point, affirming constantly is no longer required. Affirming constantly is a technique like any other to help sustain your mental diet and override your current thoughts. Believing, you do not need to believe your affirmations, but you need to believe that manifestation works all the time. This is why a lot of people, myself included, recommend manifesting things that you have less resistance to in order to prove the law to yourself. If you doubt that manifestation works, the law will show you proof of that as well. And that will be a manifestation of its own. But isn't mental diet a technique? No, your mental diet is a lifestyle. Learn to control your thoughts and push through no matter your current reality. You do not give up on your mental diet when you obtain your desire. Your mental diet sticks forever. When your thoughts become natural, you will see that your mental diet will be more focused towards your inner conversations. Your thoughts will be in line with your desire and will vary. 
they will not be the exact same affirmations. You might find yourself thinking I'm so happy. Everything has worked out so well for me and things of the like, without even consciously focusing on that. This is the natural state. Stop complicating the process. Do what feels right for you. Do what helps you persist in your desired reality. Remember that the only thing that manifests is your thoughts. Nothing else matters. Stop putting roadblocks in your process and work towards mastering your thoughts. It's like anything, it's a process. The more you do it, the better you get at it and the easier it becomes. Train your mind. Get everything you desire.